my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon so today we're going to talk about migrating your blog to a self-managed self-hosted website or WordPress site so you can do it all on yourself and you can manage what plugins you have what what themes you're using and you can switch back and forth between them you can set it up whichever way you want and this is what we're going to be talking about I'm actually going to be showing you how to migrate and we're going to use an MLSP as an example which is one of the platforms out there and uh it's going to be this you're going to be migrating from WordPress on MLSP and we're going to show you how to migrate to to MLSP sites or from MLSP sites to WordPress on Click eCourse which is one of the self managed self-hosted platforms you can have out there for free you can actually set it up for free and we'll show you how to do that in just a minute but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to course income secrets whoa hey who is hello. my own? all right so I got a little messed up there so we're going to be talking about how to migrate your site to another WordPress site so you know the thing with WordPress is WordPress is basically a a complete solution for web ba web based web based blogging or you can even use it as a website to sell products things like that they got all sorts of things you can integrate with you can have a your own uh, um, sh shopping cart platform you can have your own products on there set up using um I, I've never used it but a whoosh whoosh uh woo woocommerce yeah woocommerce is a thing that you can add to your wordpress and then you can have products on there you can have people buy products and get integrated with PayPal and with Stripe with different things and you can make it as complicated or as basic as you want now me I use WordPress for blogging I use WordPress to post these you know these videos as blogs I do that every day and I've been doing it for years now it's been since 2016 January 2016 you know end of 2015 I started blogging and I've been doing it ever since pretty much I mean I haven't been doing it every day for all that time but over the last I don't know year at least I've been doing it every day right so there was times where I kind of would take a break for a couple of weeks because I was like ah it's not working but in the end I know that the blogs is my pillar content it's my it's my hub where I get people to connect it's where I get people to see more of my stuff it's where they kind of enter into my world that I control so you want to do the same thing you want to have your own world where you control what people see so we're going to show you uh well yeah you probably I don't know if you've seen my blog but let's uh, let's just open up a new uh new window here and I'm going to share my screen over here so I mean if I go to this uh, page here if I go to my blog let's just uh, resize this properly so by the way if you're listening to this on an audio you will probably want to go and check out the video or the blog post at jeansergegagnon.com where I post all my blog posts every day uh, so you're going to want to see that on the blog and you're going to want to watch the video because you know just the audio obviously isn't enough so go check that out at jeansergegagnon.com and this is where we're going to go right now on the in the video you can see the that I'm accessing the website this is what my blog looks like in my blog you can see you know that I have all these these posts and you can see all these different posts you can see all that and like I said if we let me just add here this uh image existing uh, existing there you go so I mean like I said MLSP sites we're going to be talking about MLSP sites we're going to be talking about uh, going to click eCourse but the basics of it all right is that you want to be able to migrate your site to well whatever site you have the thing is that with WordPress what's really cool is that you can go to the site let's go to the site let's go to my my site on MLSP MLSP dot com I gotta log in there by the way MSP is a platform that lets you learn all about attraction marketing all about personal branding they even have a 10-day trial for like 10 bucks it's normally 
uh, 50 150 300 dollars a month depending on the plat on the services you want but anyways that's not enough of that go to my mlsb sites platform right here uh, I clicked the thing the wrong thing it popped up right before I clicked so MLSP sites platform so they're basically phasing it out right so if you're on on here you already know this if I just go to my actual sites uh dashboard right where I can show you so you've and this is no different it doesn't matter what kind of wordpress site you have it's basically the same process you go to your your back office you go in here you go under tools export right and then over here you just click the button to export everything you just say all content and you you click the button download export file that'll create a bundle file on their side and then it'll bundle it up doesn't take that long like as you can see right now it's just right now it's just downloading it it takes a bit longer because I have a slow internet connection but once it's done you just save it to your computer locally right you just save it to your computer I got a backup here backups and I'm going to go into my sites and I'm just going to save it here so this is all right so this is just a backup so now I have a backup on my computer right as you can see right here it's saved to my computer and then what I do is I go to click ecourse click ecourse.com I already have an account so obviously it's going to show up as a login I'm not logging okay so what you want to do is actually let's move this image out of the way here put it down here so what you want to do is you want to click on the register link at the top here well, we should probably let's resize this a bit more see the whole thing there we go okay so you click on the register link right there you enter your name an email address I'm going to say uh, webinar at fixos.com and you put in a password that you will remember uh, and you click on register I'll save it sure why not then basically what it does is it sends you an email it sends you an email webinar at fxos.com uh, well that's my email my test email and then you go get that email let's go get the email Gmail. I'm sure I have a whole bunch of junk mail in here I always have junk mail well not just junk mail I have lots of mail I'm part of lots of lists I got lots of spam or other kinds of mail so there you go clicky course you get an email like this let's just click it and you're going to get an email like this it'll say welcome to click ecourse you or someone else requests an account and then all you got to do is click this link to activate your account so we're just, we're just going to click the link right here and that opens up and it says successfully activated your account and it logs you in right so you might want to uh, change your password and th things like that but that's fine so first what you see is the uh, feed the news feed that shows you when we when new courses are added when new lessons are added when people set their profile picture when they, it's kind of like a social feed right but all you got to do is you got to go click on your little uh purse profile icon at the top there and then you can go to your blog you can go over here there's going to be a bunch of tabs a bunch of settings there's one right there that says blog you click on that and now it says your blog is not activated and the name is going to be it's not going to be there because that's just my browser saved this so I'm just going to say webinar test blog and we'll just say admin that's fine we'll put the password to basic <clears throat> uh whoops I mistyped all right so now you set, you click here to activate your blog oops I gotta say uh, there we go now it's going to activate the blog it takes just just about a minute maybe right maybe 30 seconds so that just activates the blog site once that blog site is activated you can actually share it to people and send tell them people hey here's my blog here's my link um obviously we will let's do that and then I'm going to just go here you can say access your blog obviously when you first look at it it's not a very pretty site it just says hello world that's all it does but now that we saved our you know uh, we backed up our um, wordpress from our original wordpress site we did an export whether it's mlsp or another site you'll use the same process you go to manage your blog and over here you got to use the admin use the user that you use to create it 
and then of course the password that you used and then um, then you log in and now you're in your back office in the Click eCourse platform right so it's but it's just WordPress it's nothing to do with Click eCourse really it's just a WordPress site the difference between it being hosted by Click eCourse is just that we manage the physical place where it's located but your blog is completely independent from any other uh, people's blogs like you know the the database is secure we, we 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 keep the data separate you'll you'll need to back up your data regularly and that kind of stuff using the export but let's go to settings here I'm going to go change my permalinks if you're into any kind of online marketing you definitely want to make sure that you have a post name as your permanent link because that is the SEO it's it's it makes sure that the name of the post and the name of your your is in the URL that's important for SEO uh, the other thing you want to do is uh, you want to set your user up in here to be your user right now it just says admin so it doesn't really know and I'm just going to put my name in here I'm just going to say webinar tester and I'm going to say I want to display it as webinar tester right and I'm just going to update profile here the reason why my profile picture is there because it the web uh, wordpress uses gravatar and this is based on the email that I put in right I could have I could have put in here the fxos one or whatever doesn't really matter for the purposes of this uh, okay so now if I go into say my appear well if, yeah let's go to the themes if you go to the themes here right this is where you're going to set the look and feel of your blog if you look at this there's three different themes installed you don't have to use any of these these are these are the default that are installed we can click on add new right here and we can we can choose like there's literally thousands of blogs if I just go to popular right here I can see who which blog which themes are the most popular you can just doesn't really matter you pick and choose one I'm just going to use let's say this one I'm going to install this I click on the install button <clears throat> and once it's installed I can say I can activate it we'll show you the rest in a minute but now I've got this I don't know what the, I just picked this one it doesn't I don't know right I'm not going to say I I can't I can't tell you about the themes and what they're about if you want to know about the themes any of these you just go to theme details it takes you to the themes description what it is um and also if there's a website for it there'll be a link here that kind of stuff and then you can say live you can all the different themes you can go to the next one you can look through them right you can kind of go like this go through the themes right um that's the themes that are installed if I go to say add new here again uh and I look at the uh, say click in details now you can see that they show it differently on the side here they show it here I click on this it shows me the next one shows me the next one now the thing you have to remember or you should really be focusing on is the ones that have not a lot of ratings you want to be careful with those because they might you don't know if they're if people have used them or not if they're good or not they might not even be secure so you got to be careful right just make sure you use a theme that's well used that's been used by lots of people that you can see lots of positive comments on it just uh, make sure of that all right so now we change the theme if I go back to my page here I'm reload this it's a different theme now right it's a different theme it looks different right uh and now what I want to do is I want to go into my tools I want to import whoops I'm hiding that let me just uh, go back over here move this guy back up here so over here you go to tools you go to import and then you go to WordPress importer install now and run importer it's really that simple then you go in here you choose the file that you just did a backup of which is going to be into my backups actually it's in here backups 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 let's look here into backups sites and then the last backup is right here so this is by the way I haven't been using this anymore but this is the last time I uh, did a, an update on this site this would be the backup here I'm just going to click on open here it's an 8 meg file so it'll take a little bit I wonder if I shouldn't be uh let, let's upload a different one a different backup that's smaller just so it takes less time if you uh, click on this it'll import the data and it'll tell me 
uh well sorry and then I click on import upload and import so that'll import the data as you can see the percentage going up it's pretty good 90 85 85 percent 90 99 okay so now once it's imported let me close this once it's imported then it gives me the um import attachments and it also asks me which user I want to assign the blog post to you want to assign it to your own user and then you click on submit and then that's it it imports it into the into your blog so now once we've done that after this is finished you gotta wait for it to finish here's to you I still have my Christmas you like my Christmas coffee mug I think it's a great mug I like it it's just the perfect size the perfect form you know the perfect you know just the right kind of cup right uh anyways okay so it's importing right now so um right here when you look at this you can see that there's there's action buttons on this blog but I mean it depends on the blogs right different blogs have different looks different feels you can change the image in the background uh you can do different things I'm not sure that's just a scrolling yeah that's a kind of a cool uh blog uh, theme I guess uh, maybe I'll change mine to that I kind of like this the, the thing though about it is that when you're uh when you the thing with WordPress is that everything is free to set up but everything if you want to they have a there's a lot of things that are um that have uh paid versions right so some of them they'll have these pop-ups annoy you all the time some of them will have um even ads maybe I'm not sure about that but I I would imagine uh but most of them you know have some pretty pretty great functionality even when you're not paying for it right and this is this is all you got to do to import to to this blog the, the thing is that if you have a certain theme that you had before and if it was a theme that was paid for either by the platform or by somebody else or by you or whatever and then you bring it over to click eCourse WordPress you won't necessarily have the same uh you you might not have access to that particular theme or that particular plugin unless you pay for it again and install it yourself but the good news is you can do it all yourself so if you know of a plugin that you were using or a theme you're using like for example if I I know that I was using Divi theme right Divi theme download if I know I was using the Divi theme and I just want to get the same exact theme I had before then I just go to elegant theme well whatever I just google it right and then I go to this this page here and I'm going to say I want a pricing what is it summer sale look at that 70 bucks for a year so I don't know about that lifetime access 200 oh, okay so you can you can spend 200 bucks to get the Divi theme and then once you have it you can just install it on your on the on your blog you can install it in, over here so if I go to here let's just oh by the way so when you look at all this right it says uh invalid import there's a bunch of different things that it says it failed to import that's because I had certain themes on my original uh blog uh, site that I used and I didn't set that a plugin or the theme I'm using isn't the same like for example I know that over there over on my previous I was using Divi theme on um, Divi theme is not free so I, I don't really feel like paying for an extra a, a theme I'm not going to go get it so there's a bunch of stuff in here that has to do with Divi theme I don't really care because the point of a blog is, and I, originally I did care I thought it was important for it to look good and everything and that was the most important part and making sure it was the same when I migrated and all this but now I don't care I know that the important thing is having the content having the posts and having people be able to navigate and and go through and the URL to be the same and all that stuff so the look of it doesn't really matter as long as it looks okay it looks good and it's navigatable and it's understandable that's all that matters so that's why I'm not bothered by all this stuff this is just stuff I I did in the past that I don't really care about now if I go to post over here I'll post now I can see let's just delete this one I don't want this hello world one just trash it now these are all my blog posts I had on my original site if I go over here and I reload this page now now you're going to see that well there's a menu I can fix that but you can see that I have all these blog posts now right 
some of the images are messed up but that's you know that's the thing right when you're importing from one when an old blog a certain theme to another there might be certain things that don't translate well but you can always go up here you can go to the to here you go back to your theme here appearance themes right and you can actually uh look at the different themes let's say I want to just let's just try this one live preview see what it looks like uh, if I look at it like this it's going to show me exactly what this would look like on this theme so you can see right here it shows me the YouTube oh I like that I like that it shows me the YouTube instead of yeah so this is probably a better theme for me right and you can also fix this uh oh this one doesn't even have the the menus I don't know where the menu would be there would be a menu someplace not sure but anyways this thing would be perfect right so I'm just saying click activate and publish and now I have my theme and my blog it's migrated that's it it's as simple as that now there's lots of other things you can talk about we can talk about different uh different things if I reload this page now it's going to show me that now it's going to be the this new blog right with the the face uh, the the YouTube uh, videos that I had right and I can click on any of these to go look at the blog itself which is what it it doesn't look the same right it doesn't it doesn't look the same as what I had before but that doesn't matter I have the same text I have the same URL up here this is the same URL well it's not the same right now but it could be whoops I clicked on my bank link <laughs> so it's the same URL if I go for example um in here I can actually set a domain for my blog if I go over here oh actually I can't in this case it's a it's a so there's if you want a custom domain all you got to do is you got to get to the um the what's it what do we call it we call it the uh, beginner plan so in the beginner plan you can actually have uh, your own domain for your blog that would be right here that would be the option you need and this is just the beginner plan the beginner plan is only you know ten dollars a month it's it's really nothing you just click on select over here and then you would have to just click on the subscribe to ten dollars per month or you or you do it for a hundred per year instead you just click on one of these depending on what you want to do and then you're going to upgrade to the plan that allows you to set the blog now me for the demo here I'm just going to go ahead and make the change let me just uh uh, actually I'll do that over here on this other screen I have open over here let me just go to my image. I'm just going to go and enable this person this new person's account to be to be um on that plan so let's just do that mm -hmm. almost almost there I'm going to upgrade that to the beginner plan save changes all right so now when I go back to here uh no that's not it this is an old oh this is an old window let's get that window closed don't need this right here okay so now if I go back to my now if I reload this page it's going to show me that now the account is on on the beginner plan and if I go back to my blog right here to my blog settings under blog right here now once now that I'm upgraded now you can see that I can set my own domain so I can go on this and let's just set this to uh I have to set it to askjohnsurge.com that's not the right domain but let's do that if I go to askjohnsurge.com now I save that as askjohnsurge.com and it's telling me that I don't have the SSL so that's okay I'll just enable HTTP the right now I don't it's not a big deal that I don't have um so now if I access my blog which I don't think it'll work because I have to oh it does work okay so now when I access my blog as you can see it's askjohnsurge.com and it's just all these links are all going to go to that to well I guess there's an error right now I'll have to figure that out but yeah so that would take you to the blog post and you can always uh, disable that if you if you're not sure so I'm going to uh, reset to default 
and it's that simple to go to back to the original access your blog is back here and there you go we got these links and that's it the blog post right so that's how you migrate from MLSB or another WordPress blog site to Click eCourse so you have your own self-managed and like I said you can do all this stuff let's go back to the that's not it here there but I can you know you can change all these things I can set the menus I can change the let's change the let's change it again let's change it to a different uh, theme I'm going to go back to add new here uh let's use uh, I don't know this one foresight I don't know and activate uh, now da -dum, da -dum. so now when I reload the page there you go I've got a different blog now it's a different blog well this is just a post so let's go to the home and that's that's what it looks like now right the different the blog has a different there's no this one here doesn't have like a a menu on the side right but if I go and I change it again to let's go back here I change it again to let's see add new theme uh, let's use this one which one did I just see with a second uh, this one here let's try this one and install this one activate so as you can see it's really easy to just change what your blog looks like and whether it whether it's exactly the same as what it was before it's really not that critical right what's important is that you have the ability to save all your content all the text that you wrote so many years ago you don't want to lose any of that it's all still there it doesn't really matter what what theme you use you can change the themes now whatever theme like this theme looks kind of weird with the image so I probably probably wouldn't use this theme or I would maybe there's a setting I can fix on it right the other thing you're going to want to look at is and in, in your uh plugins what are plugins right what are plugins plugins are additional functionality that you can add to your to your wordpress platform right you can add stuff to it to allow I don't know certain things like for example uh there's an anti-spam thing that's kind of installed by default but that doesn't work unless you get a license um that we did the wordpress import if I go and add new plugins uh, let's say I want to have a pop-up right I want to have a pop-up show up so I'm gonna I can search for a pop-up form for example I don't know there's so many different different options for that right there's all these different pl plugins you install one of these and one of the things I'd recommend is when you look at them make sure that you see there's a lot of installations if you look at one that has almost none like this one only has a hundred this one might be okay if you know whoever created it but if you don't how do you know that it's safe right there's just a few installs like c21 this is 4000 that's so 2000 7000 I mean this one here has only 14 14 and then it's really just two stars right 1000 so it's probably not you know but if you look at some of the more popular ones that have like hundreds of thousands of installs let's see this one here right form maker 100,000 installs 732 ratings and that's 4.5 stars so that's probably a really good example of one so I'm not really sure if I click on more details it tells me a little bit more about what this is it gives me all sorts of information on what it does field types and I don't even know any of this right but there's lots to read and that's the thing with uh with WordPress there's a lot to learn but at the same time it's all under your control you don't have to worry about somebody else having to pay somebody else and you know 200 bucks an hour for them to set it up for you you can do it all on your own it's so much more I mean it depends right maybe you'd prefer paying somebody 200 bucks an hour to set up your stuff to add add a plug-in and do this and whatever maybe you know it's okay to pay 2,000 bucks for somebody to set up your WordPress for you and that could be okay too if that's the way you want to do it I'm not I'm not offering that as a service but maybe somebody on Click eCourse would maybe some of my friends would like to do that for you right so if you ever need that just let me know and maybe I'll I'll be able to find somebody who's actually does that kind of service right and if you do that kind of service let me know too so I can connect you with people who want 
that service and uh, and so yeah so that's how you migrate from one wordpress to the click equals wordpress and it's that simple and it's really not hard to migrate that it takes a few minutes like as you saw that's all it takes and um and yeah so that's that's the you know that's the process <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next oh by the way there is I'm going to be doing a webinar on how to do this I'm actually going to do this with somebody we're going to do it live and you can come and watch and you can go to um well there it's tonight so you might not see this in time but if if you do see this and you want to know about it just let me know and we'll send you maybe a replay or maybe there's going to be another session but keep stay let me know if you're interested all right have yourself a great day we'll see you later this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.